Matt asked how to modify an older imported geometry like a SOLIDWORKS file. Coming right up. Hey everybody, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. My name is Lars Christensen and uh, this is just an attempt to add a little bit more value to your Fusion 360 experience. My email address is down in the description of this video. If you'd like to send me any future topics, I'd love to, uh, I'd love to see if something we can do, like the one that Matt had uh, requested here. So, let's jump into Fusion. So the first things first is to get the 3D model into, uh, into Fusion. And this goes for pretty much any type of file format that you're bringing in, an existing solid model. In this case, Matt asked for SOLIDWORKS, so let's do that. Um, I'm gonna open up uh, our data panel up here, and I'm gonna go into the upload, and uh, I'm gonna save this in my folder here in Fusion, so go and select files, and I'm navigating to my SOLIDWORKS file folder, where I have different SOLIDWORKS files that I've created in the past, and in here, there you will see there's an assembly, uh, there's an SLD ASM file for SOLIDWORKS, I click on that, I hit open, and when I hit upload, I actually get a request to bring the reference files. Remember, um, the way that SOLIDWORKS does this, or like Inventor does this also, is that you kind of like have an assembly parent, and then the part files fits within that, where in Fusion we can do all within one. So, I'm going to go back into uh, to the same folder again, and just make sure that I select those other files that I know... Uh, were part of that assembly. So I'm gonna just multi-select those, holding it on control, hit open, now we see them all, and uh, and hit upload. Now what happens is that this SOLIDWORKS file is get brought in and uh, and saved inside of Fusion 360 as a uh, Fusion 360 assembly. This is only gonna take, um, you know, takes a little time, a few minutes, nothing uh, to, uh, to run too far away from. There you see completes. Um, so I'm gonna close this dialog box, and um, it, we get a little refresher up here, and there you will see that that SOLIDWORKS assembly is. So I'm gonna double click that to open it up, and let me just go over and hide the data panel. Now, there's a couple of things that you maybe notice that is a little bit different than um, when we normally work inside of Fusion. First of all, you will see that there's no history uh, in here, and uh, if we went in, for example, and uh, opened up one of these part models, you'll see they just have a body. There is no sketches in here. And um, that is actually because when CAD software, like SOLIDWORKS or others, are exporting out their, their, their models, they don't bring that along with it. So you don't get that data. It's almost like proprietary for that software. But don't worry, there's plenty of things you can do uh, with models like this um, when you're working in. So let's just do a quick little thing here. I'm gonna go over to our main core that I created. I'm gonna right click on it and uh, just to, to, to make things a little bit easy, I'm gonna isolate it so we just hide all the other, all the other models. Now we can kind of like look at this part itself. Now, one thing that I like to do is I like to go up and right click up on the top assembly level and say capture the assigned history. What that means is that now from this point on, I know that there was no sketches and, and, and different extrudes and fillers brought in, but from this point on at least that I want those things so I can alter them later on if I come back to to this file. So some of the things you can do in here you should know is you can absolutely start sketching in here. So um, we could create a sketch on this face for example and uh, I could just draw um, you know if you had to in let's say we had to, to bring a a slider in here for example uh, now where this is supposed to look like somewhat like a mold um, I could place this sketch here, let's find the midpoint, just because we should always do that. Fully define those sketches, right? All right. So we got that there, and it actually looks like it's floating around, so let's make that call linear. So I guess work with your, your, your stand, standard sketch tools in here. So if I go in here, 
Q. We can absolutely cut into to this model. So all this works. Oh, my, my, what's up with these cooling challenges? Or whatever that's supposed to resemble in that. But you can cut into this. You can do standard commands. You will see down here. This looks all familiar to you. This should make you feel you feel all good about that. There's also other tools that you can move in here. We can actually, if you look at these uh, bushing holes, you can do a right click and use like a move command. And if I go in here and select this face command and I select inside of um, this part here, I can actually start moving holes. So this is super good um, if you just got to make a quick change to, for example, a SOLIDWORKS model. You can go in here and you can see we can add the dimensions and there's different options. There's a live stream on the move command. And again, all this gets recorded. So if I move back down here in the bottom, that hole move back. I move forward and it moves over there. A couple of other things that um, is actually pretty cool too. And I'm going to wrap it up with this because I hope that that is somewhat enough. Um, if we're looking at here, there's clearly some sliders coming, uh, coming through here. Um, you can actually, if I go in and I select this face, and I'm going to hold down Control or Alt if you're on a Mac. I'm just going to select the surrounding faces in here. Make sure I get them all inside this hole here. So now I've selected all those internal faces. Now, if I hit the delete command, just keep an eye on here. If I hit delete on my keyboard, see how that Fusion is actually able to literally solve this, this delete function, but not only delete the, 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 the pocket I created in here, it actually healed all the things up and created that in here. Let me do that one more time. This is, um, is pretty dang cool. And the reason for this is it's not so much about how this will not always work. I'm not going to guarantee that, but it's not about what you are deleting here. It's what's around it. And if, and if Fusion can, it will heal it all up. Let me hit the lead again. One, two, three. See how it heals everything up. This here. Now, why am I doing this? Well, because if I do the last two and leave one left, it could be that your customer, customer is always right, um, that your customer has a request uh, that it needs to add some more of these slider pockets in here. So by doing this, make sure you zoom in. So if I delete this, I only have one left. Hit delete. I only have that one left over there. So I go over here. This one here. Now, I don't know how many there was. Five or something? Four? How many have we deleted so far? I can't remember. Uh, but if we go in here, we can use standard commands like the uh, circular pattern. And if I go in and I select the remaining faces on that last pocket that we left, you bad did. We can uh, we can go ahead and we can now circle a pattern as many as those. We select an axis, select that center axis. You see now we get oh, front view here. Um, you will see that now we get kind of like three, and we could I think that was maybe that was five. Maybe we needed to do seven or eight. And when I hit have eight in here and I hit OK. It will actually go in and uh, and add that in there. I hope that was useful. Sorry that it is exposed in here with the lighting through my office windows. I hope this was useful. Um, just remember that when you're bringing in other CAD files, like a SOLIDWORKS file or others, that you have these tools in there. You can actually modify this. All this is recorded down in that history line now. Uh, so any changes you're doing from that, that point on. You get a file in that has some counterboards that needs to be deleted. You can just delete them out and they're gone and you can play some new ones or whatever you need. Matt, I hope this was useful. Everybody else, thank you so much. If you like this video, do me a favor, thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay. Thumbs down. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. And until the next time, have an awesome, awesome day. Take care, folks.